Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Ocean Retro here. So, I got a quick question to answer. I get this all the time. I meant to answer, answer this a while ago. And if you know what a private server is, this video isn't for you. This is for the questions that I get from my live stream. What is a private server? So, like I said, if you know what a private server is, don't, don't worry about this video because it doesn't apply to you. But those of you who are very curious about it, they're versions of Fiesta that aren't, they're like older, like I don't to explain it. You know, like Gamma goes way ahead of the files that the, these private servers use. I'm not going to go into deep, like real technical. I know you private server users know all the technical terms, but I'm trying to make it really easy to understand. All right, so here we go. Gamago has new files. Private servers use old files. They have none of the cool newer things. Um, they're ran by people like you. They're not, I don't think they're really companies. I mean, some of these bigger ones have like turn in, in quotations, turn into companies. I say that in quotations. Um, like this one's pretty big. Like I think they have like their own, in, again, quotations company, current in quotations, current studios or whatever they call it. Um, these tend to not have viruses, but the thing is that the files themselves don't have viruses. It's the owners. The owners can create um, viruses, and that could be a problem. I'm not going to say what servers have done it, because servers have done it, but I feel like those servers have taken enough, gotten enough harsh trash and stuff from that, even though they deserved it. I'm not going to bring them up. But for the most part, you're safe. You're not really going to get viruses from private servers. If that's that's kind of like a myth. Like I've played every private server. Uh, I've scanned all the files. I've never only two incidents out of every single private server I've played. I've had viruses pop up, and they were never anything severe except for one server. And uh, I really don't want to say their name, but it was a pretty uh, bad virus. And what it did was it locked out my task manager, so I couldn't. It, what I think it, what it would try to do, the virus was trying to do, was um, run a program in the background, and by disabling my task manager, I couldn't go close it. So that's one experience I've had. That was a long time ago, um, and another one just blocked out other servers. That wasn't anything severe, nothing like that, nothing bad. But for the most part, they don't tend to have viruses. They are older style versions of Fiesta, uh, all custom. The best way to view it as view it as is Minecraft. These are just like modifications in a sense, like different servers of Minecraft. You know, they're all different. It's kind of like that, like Minecraft or Fiesta, just different mod modded versions of it. If you think about it like that, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, there's a lot of different ones. This website is really unreliable about which ones are really better. Uh, for example, all these were botted to the top. I mean, you'd have to be an idiot not to tell. I don't think they had 5 million players or out, even 5 million logouts. I mean, these are all bought, botted to the top. Um, but current's not real. Like, I don't get mad about current because they're actually not too bad of a server or bad of a in quotations company or group of people. They're not too bad. They own all three of these. I mean, it's a dirty way to get to the top because they don't really deserve that spot. Because I actually played this server, and there's only like three or four people on it, and that doesn't deserve the top spot. But I'm not going to really complain about that. Um, C4, like, a lot of, I don't know how many th this has this server has or this but I know this server has a ton of players uh, fallow yeah I, I bring that up a lot I play that server a lot because I like it um, tons of players so I, I would imagine it would be more up here because I don't think these would be ranked one two and three I mean this isn't even out yet I mean that's really really botted um I'm trying to make sure I got everything yeah, but there's older versions of Yesta. Uh, if you're going to donate, this is something I've always lived by. If you're going to donate a ton of money to a private server, there's no point in playing one. Um, you're better off donating your money to the actual server if you're going to invest that much. I'd say maybe $100 is like, okay. If you're going to donate maybe $100 a month on a Fiesta or a private server, that's okay. But if you're going to start doing any more than that, I think you're better off just to play Gamago. Because a lot of times, like, when these servers started ke coming out, they would only last like two or three months at the most. Like servers didn't last very long, but servers tend to last a little bit longer now if they're mentionable. If they're like up here, 
I mean, like, again, this is unreliable, so I guess I can't really say that. But it used to be if they were on, on the top, they were pretty reliable servers. Like, this one's been out for months. I'll, like, let's see what, else, what other ones? Uh, this has been out for months. This one's been out for months. This one's dying down, though. Uh, this server's been around, but opened and closed a billion times. Uh, that's This is a fake spam one. Uh, Horizon's been around a long time. Decent server. This has been around forever. Really good server. I like the original one better. But as far as how it functions and stuff, it's really good. Um, I don't like leveling. Leveling's pretty slow on that one, but you get the idea. Um, Infinity's been around a really long time. Uh, this tends to be a copy and paste server, which isn't one of my f typically favorite servers to play. Um, not a bad one though. And these three, I can't. I only played these a little bit. And they were bought to the top, so there's that. Um, so just to sum uh, summarize it. They're pretty fun. They're not, they're fun to play, ran by people like you. I'd say maybe under 10% chance that you get a virus. Uh, they do tend to last longer um, than the so-called two or three months. I'd say the average average good private server lasts one to two years. If it has a good yeah, I'd say one to two years. I mean, these have been open for so long now. So yeah, one or two years. Um, different modded versions of the game. Um, there's three kind of files. I wasn't gonna go over this, but if you're curious, there's Odin files. This is more for the more advanced Fiesta players. There's Odin files, HK files, and there's another one. I can't think of it. But the HK files are. I I wouldn't play this server. If it says HK files, it says it has um. Let's see if if it says it has like weapon sockets. Um, okay, this has weapons. Auction house, auction house is another one. Um, balance weapons or whatever. I wouldn't play those servers. Cause this is a little inside information. If this server starts asking for donations to open, I'd say no to it because they use files called HK. HK files tend to bug after three months. Or this is what I was told. They quit working after three months. So. With that being said, when the server opens, let's say they've been working on it a month, it's only gonna have two months before like it in quotation breaks, because there's like OnSoft made some kind of software for. I don't know if this is true. This is what I've heard. This is why all the HK server, like you notice how there's no HK servers left. Apparently, that the files send a signal after three months to OnSoft, and somehow they just break. I don't know how reliable that is. But I tend to believe it because there are no other HK servers up anymore. There are none. No servers have socket systems. None of them are up that up to date. Um, so it's if they can manage to like not. I mean, I believe in them. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt because they are. They've been around for so long. I think they'd figure out a way around it. But that that's pretty much my server talk. Um, if you have any questions, I know I didn't, I didn't do a very great job at that ending, like explaining it. But if you have any other questions, feel free to comment them below and I will answer them. Yeah, but uh, I've been playing browsers for a really long time. Uh, they've come a long way. Um, you don't have to do anything. You need WinRAR for most of them. Uh, patching, they self patch now. You don't have to do, like, a lot of you old school guys know. <laughs> Man, you used to have to manually patch. It was the worst. Servers were. The very first servers that weren't even English, they were like, um, like Korean, Chinese, Japanese, some kind of language, I don't remember, and you had to like, get like, files to convert it, and they would be buggy, it was so, it was really bad. Bootleg AF, cause a lot of you guys think ser private servers aren't bootleg, I mean are bootleg, but if they're done right, they're pretty good. But I guess that ends my rant and educational speech about private servers, they're fun, go check them out. I recommend it 100%. I don't rec recommend it over the game. Never. This is something that, another thing I live by. Never play a private server before you actually play the real game. If you're the first time you've ever seen this video, always play the real game first. Uh, they deserve the, the the owners deserve money. The people who make this game who work hard, they deserve money, attention more than private servers. Um. But yeah, that ends that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, any questions, leave them below. I will see you guys in the next video, and thank you guys for watching.